folks. There's been, uh, uh, there have been quite a few programs on Cornwall, latest being uh, Rick Stein, who many of you know of, uh, his son. Uh, and the Cornish coast is just so wonderful. I, but I don't copy it, I just make, make it up as best I can from memory, from having done lots of them. But we'll try a bit of a thing. Uh, so we were in Cornwall, oh, year before last. We would have been back there last year, but all got cancelled. We would have been at St Moore's. And there's always this uh, argument between locals, local people, the coastal communities, fishing communities, especially in Cornwall, where the, 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 the houses come onto the market and they're snapped up by wealthy people and the locals don't get a look in, it's uh, sad. But on the other hand, a lot of those houses are let much of the time to for holiday lets and we make use of them from time to time, they're not cheap. But the, we, we, it brings money into the community. But unfortunately there comes a time where most of the build buildings or houses in a coastal village, especially a picturesque village, and most of them are all around the coast in Cornwall. Um, when the holiday lets or the, the second homers go back to London or wherever, there aren't enough people left to, to populate the school or the pub or the church and eventually they close or the corner shops, they close. It's a, it's a real problem. I do have a lot of sympathy for those communities but I say that with a bit of guilt because I've made use of them with my family as for the main holidays. Also, probably the most sustainable way to, to enjoy the coast we did for, for 25 years is to get hold of a, a trailer tent or caravan and tow it down to, a, to an organised site, in our case it was the Camping and Caravan Club, where you had wonderful showers, discipline and plenty of space between the units and at the end of the season you go home and it's, it's a field again. Apart from all the, uh, the, the sort of infrastructure, the electrical cups, the hard standings and the lovely loo blocks. But we don't leave a footprint, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm not advocating for everybody and it comes a time when you, when you're too old to do it anyway. And I'm at that stage. Right, let's uh, get me pencil. Where's my pencil? Oh, here we are. Uh, right, so... Mm. Don't put too much uh, seed. Nice, not straight horizon. Uh. Some rocks. Okay, that'll do. Uh. I'll clean my brush in the oil, linseed oil. And when I've finished I will uh, give them a good clean with some washing up liquid. Okay, so, plenty of oil, nice dramatic sky. Oops, I'll leave some red. I'm going to put some red ochre out, I, I like red ochre. Bit of that, bit of cad red. Oh, let's put, put out some of the dry paint from around the edge, around the uh, cap. Sorry about the rant, I call, but it's true, it's, it, it has affected local economies. And the family breaks families up as well because they can't afford to live because of the wealthy people who have uh, they have bought all the uh, properties. Some of the properties are, are absolutely beautiful. Now I'm just going to just get some 
color on there. Bit of blue, bit of bit of painless grey, nice rich colour. See if I can get away with this red instead of the cadmium red. painting to any other method. I love the blending. Just get some paint on and then refine it later as you go. My C colour is going to be, I think, um, colour I was going to say then. You can blend it and do all sorts. But working on paper, watercolour paper, is a th Fabulous uh, thing. I, I, I just love it. it. It saves you preparing boards anyway. And I get fed up with cutting MDF boards and priming them, waiting for them to dry. And, but this is already just cut it in half and you've got a surface. You do not need to prime it. You can do. But you'll be painting on this, the primer, not on the paper. And the, the joy of this is that the paper, the paper itself soaks up the oil very quickly and you can you can get some good dry brush techniques with it. Well I'm I'm holding the brush quite a way away from the paper. That way you don't, you don't always see my headphones on top of me, my head. Let's get some of that. See with acrylic you're, you're always fighting against the speed of drying. You can of course slow it down the drying by using uh, the stuff I was using was acrylic vet gel. Now, just, just one. Could be fair, these are going because the miserable weather. Typical January, but we have, well it was nice up to Christmas, so it was quite mild, it's, it's quite warm now, well mild, but it is winter, it's going to get colder as well. Oh, that's really good. Good and uh, I 
and threatening, isn't it? That was a rhetorical question. Just get that. Just breaking through those clouds. Oh, I think I was going to say, my colours for my seed is going to be uh, yellow ochre, white and ultramarine. So let's just make sure we're clear in a minute. Scrape. I have to make another one of these parts. It's a bit of pliable that I cut down to use in a posh aid box which I never used. I'm not a lover of going out out of doors. Children always seem to find me like <laughs> Van Gogh. <laughs> and they always turn up when you're, you're roughing in. They say, well what's that mister? Uh, right, let's just get that coming across here a bit, bit more. Of the pencil mark. So I'm going to do this, that uh, C in a minute. Right, okay, oh, I quite like that sky. Whenever I get stuck for a bit of abstract painting, well, when I say abstract, I mean this is all abstract. I, I look through Jackie Gardner's uh, paintings, I don't copy them, but I just get stimulated by, by them. There's always something that I can learn from. I contacted her once and asked her if I, she would mind me having a go at, not a, a copy, but to use as a reference material one of her paintings. She said, she got back to me on, on Facebook and said, oh, that's okay, Dave. I've just contacted a, another artist to <laughs> find out what colours he was using so I can, I can use those. So there we are. We learn from each other, don't we? Okay, so here we go. Nice bit of, bit of blue ochre. Okay. Then you can get a nice... Need that horizon a bit darker than that. Uh, where's my colour there? Right, we we'll move. C is uh, going a bit. Oh, that's better. Get some nice white in there now. Fill the holes. You don't have to. Now we're going up. We're going up hill there, aren't we? Okay, well, well we'll work at that in a minute. Uh, that got a bit a bit high there, so let's just right. 
Oh, okay, let's do a bit of... Yeah, okay. Let's just finish that bit of stuff off here. Okay. I keep saying okay. Right, now we want some nice colour. Bit of oil. Just get colour on. And then refine it later. Very the colours. Right, OK, I'll do one side. Do something on the other side now. So that red is so useful. I think my camera picks up quite a bit of, uh, that's my phone camera, quite a bit of the red. Just to make an interesting shape with some contrast, plenty of colour. And we'll just get to the rocks. Paints, just a bit of paint spray and white. Right, I'm going to put a bit of green on here.
I'll go back and change those rocks in a minute. Let's get a bit of a uh, bit of sandy colour. Put in some uh, shadowy sand just to I'll just get a bit of shadow in, in that, so I'll still use a bit of red and a bit of, a bit of the blue. Here's a brush. Oh, I've got a stormy sky. Let's uh, put in a bit of a
I think that's going uphill there. Uh, I'm not much sure I can do about it really at this stage. Do. Okay, well, I'll dismantle everything and uh, try to remember to stick this in my statement panel. It's not the best one I've done for a, for a while, but uh, it's different. Well there we are, we've got a, got a painting, stormy sky, crashing waves on the beach, it's because I don't really live near the coast, I don't, I have to, sorry, snow, we don't get a lot of snow here, and I have to sort of make up. That. Okay, well, you can imagine leave the rocks yourself. Okay, folks, thanks for looking in. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.